welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Paulina. I got the gastric sleeve gastrectomy surgery on August 1st, 2019, and I am maintaining 142 pounds lost. On this specific episode, I am taking you guys along with me uh, with my day or on my day to show you guys what snacks I eat, what food I eat, what drinks I drink, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. So first things first, I just got back from working out. It's about 6 a.m. Um, on all my what I eat in a day, well actually like the last two or three, I talk about these two different products that I use. Um, so I go work out every day, and then I come home and have my aloe, which is from Herbalife. If you are interested, you guys can message me at um, bodymindandsoul underscore VSG, and I can get these items for you. So it's the mango aloe and they have a cranberry and they have a mandarin like an orange and then I always do the collagen It's a strawberry lemonade. It's the only flavor that they have But it's it's good and I mix both of these in the beginning of my journey Maybe six months post-op. Um, I was really str struggling with using, using the restroom So I was doing the probiotic with Herbalife um, which really helped me. I'm not doing it anymore, but I still find that these two items work um, now. But in the beginning, I would definitely recommend a probiotic if you are struggling with that, which a lot of us do after weight loss surgery. So anyways, um, I get a cup. It says eight ounces. I don't really measure that. So I do ice to the top and some water. Um, and then the aloe. I just got this one. So let me open it. probably an easier way of doing that but anyways so with this one you do three capsules of this so it makes it easy to measure one two three and it's it's really good um i mean it's not like super super sweet but it is sweet um and then with the collagen i always get hot water just a little bit of hot water you can't really tell but I get hot water and the collagen already has like a measuring spoon for you. So it makes it way easier. I'm running out and I need to get some more ASAP. But anyways, it has a little measuring spoon for you. And you just drop it in the hot water. Collagen chunks up. So if you were to just drop it in regular water, it's going to be all chunky and disgusting. And that's what you're going to be swallowing when you're drinking. So I do it with hot water. Mix it up until it's completely dissolved. And then I add it to my water. Um, and it's what I drink every single morning on an empty stomach before I have my protein shake, before I even have my vitamins um, and everything, okay? So this is what I make every single morning. Um, and then in a couple, probably in about, I don't know, an hour or so, I'll have my premier protein shake. Um, and then after this, I'm going to be having my... Um, my bariatric advantage calcium um it's not a pill it's like a chewable so you have two of these i've been having okay that completely went under the fridge so i have two of these and then i have um two of the multivitamins which i'll show you guys also and I do um, the mixed fruit. So I'm gonna show you guys right now because, and I have a whole video on my pills and why I take these pills and I'll link it down below. But like throughout the day when I'm filming, I'll probably forget to show you guys my pills. I take them, but I probably will forget. So I do one in the morning and one at night of the multivitamins and then the calcium. I take two um, a day. In the beginning, my doctor told me three, but I've been doing two and I feel fine in my blood. Uh, like my blood results had came back fine. So it's two a day, but these two can't be taken together. I, what my doctor told me is that they cancel out. So they have to be taken within, I think it was three hours. I do every, th I do three hours. So I'm gonna take this calcium and then my multivitamin I'll take in like three hours. It's so early, so it'll still be like 9 a.m. Um, and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, my second calcium. And then with dinner, um i will take my multivitamin so that will be it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be exactly three hours but it can't be any earlier if that makes sense but yeah so basically that's that with my vitamins so i will see you guys in a few <laughs> <laughs> my brother's here because you know that online learning so gotta get my coffee in 
So anyways, <laughs> so I always go to Starbucks on my what I eat in a days, but today I'm actually making it from home. So I have my cup, my cute Starbucks cup that Triple Beauty Creations made, which I will put her info right here. Um, I am going to, you wanna make mine? Yeah. Okay, he's gonna make it for me. So we have, like always, Premier. Caramel. Yeah. Go off, make it, pour it in there. Nice. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Wait, let's have this first, cause then the ice gets super um, like cold, and then yeah, go, pour it in. So it's a caramel premiere, 30 grams of protein, 160 calories. That's the first thing, it should fit perfect. And then I did the Nespresso double shot um, in the Nespresso machine. So he's gonna add that to it. So it's already brewed in here. Pour it in. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so it goes in there, we gotta mix it up a little bit. I have to drink a little bit because I still wanna add sugar-free vanilla syrup to it. Um, I have different ones, but that one's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add this one. So we're gonna add, you wanna add it for me? Yeah. I'll tell you when to stop. I like a lot. Well, not like a lot, a lot, but just pour it in. It's just flavoring for it. And then we're gonna add uh, a little more. Okay, good, good, good. So then we add that. So it's the Premier, the double shot espresso, and then the sugar-free vanilla. But that's what I'm having for breakfast. We gotta go. We gotta go log in. Yeah, we gotta go log in. <laughs> we bet. For snack. So now, for snack time, I am going to be having the pumpkin pie. I hate that it doesn't, that it doesn't focus. Why not? It's focusing on you, that's why. Ooh. Okay, you guys get it. It's the Greek, it's not focusing. It's the Greek light and fit pumpkin pie. It is only 80 calories and 12 grams of protein. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna open it and it's so, so much. Do you like pumpkin pie? Not really. Wanna try it? I don't really like it with You see if I'm lying to them? Cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you try it? Be open to it? Tell the people, am I lying? It's <laughs> delicious. No, for real. <laughs> No. Whatever, who knows? He don't like pumpkin pie, okay? I do. So this is the pumpkin pie. So what I'm adding to it is this, Special K. And I'm adding, the, it's cinnamon. You know I'm extra so I have it in a clear. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It is the cinnamon brown crunch, wait, cinnamon brown sugar crunch. For a whole cup is 106 calories, I'm not doing that. I'm just topping off a little handful into my yogurt because I like crunch. So that's gonna be my like morning snack. My brother is gonna share what he's gonna have because it's also healthy. So I picked out uh, the Rocky Road flavored chabon. They can't see you, dude. You're on the side. <laughs> I Come right here. Come right here. <laughs> I picked the Rocky Road chabani. Chabani flip. <laughs> chabani. Chabani. What's the flavor that you got? Um, Rocky Road. Rocky Road. So he's gonna open it up and show you guys. It has chocolate marshmallow. And flavor. he got this. Okay, yeah, open it. That, that's my Bali pop. Okay, open it. I can't. Careful, because then it's going to spoil it's the stuff. It's actually kind of hard to open. Ooh. Ooh. What's the flavor of the Greek yogurt, does it say? Um, so the one he's getting, it's a uh, chocolate marshmallow flavored low fat Greek yogurt with cocoa coated almonds, roasted almonds, and waffle cone. So he's going to dump all that in there. So if you guys, ooh, I didn't know you could do that. Hey. What? Hey. I always get the spoon and go like that. And he just went. You didn't know. So it has, no. It has all the toppings in there. So that's what he's going to be having for snack. Wait, Cheers. What about Louie? He wants to share what our dog is going to have for a snack. Go get him. Come on, Louie. You want to be on our YouTube channel? We're famous. And Lulu is going to be having a little tweet. Uh-oh. And Stinky heard. Come here. And he's gonna be having a little tweet. But I have to break his because he's 10 and he doesn't have many teeth. See y'all later. See y'all later. Okay, you guys, so for lunch, I am going to... He's there again, where's Waldo? I am going to be making a wrap with the low carb tortillas. Excuse me, things. A wrap. They are these, I've talked about them in a lot of my videos. They are 70 calories. 
Um, so I went to the Habit yesterday and got a Caesar salad, a chicken teriyaki Caesar salad. Um, and I'm going to be adding it to my tortilla because I'm not just trying to eat salad. Just not feeling it, you know? Just not feeling it, you know? So all I did is if this fly can get out of my face. You see that fly right there? Yeah. I'm adding it into the tortilla for a wrap. And that's going to be my simple lunch honestly when i try to calculate the calories and stuff it's going to be kind of hard but for sure 70 calories for the low carb tortillas and this i'm not even sure the whole entire salad i think is like 600 700 calories but you could see how much i ate yesterday there's still like a lot and then today i'm putting literally that much salad into it so that's going to be my lunch for today you guys want to know the best thing possible when you are working from home and you are on the computer all day and you are like exhausted about being on the computer all day is when your husband brings you Starbucks. So this is my second snack. It's going to be three shots of espresso over ice um, in a Trenta cup with four shots of sugar-free vanilla. And I am adding the caramel premiere as always. You guys, I drink this so much probably every day. It really, really helps me get my protein and I already had one today, but now I'm to the point where I have this as a snack and it's okay for me. Ask your doctor to know, to see if that's okay for him. I mean, for you um, and see if he recommends it. So I'm already getting 60 grams of protein with the, with this snack and in the morning. Um, I thought about it and I was using these as meals and yeah, I can still do that. But as a snack, it's the same thing. It's 160 calories. Comment down below if you don't agree, you guys. I mean, I don't know. I haven't really done my research on it. I've been doing it and I'm I'm not gaining i'm you know i'm maintaining at this point i'm not losing any more weight um but yeah this is what i'm having for my snack look at that this is so addicting and so yummy and it's crazy to me how i used to just have a bunch of sugary drinks at starbucks and this literally i feel like i'm drinking a caramel macchiato thank you guys so much for watching it's really bright i can't really get the lights situation right now it is late it is like 10 p.m but i wanted to do my little outro for my video so if you guys saw my video, you saw that I did super good and I tracked everything and it's Friday. I know today's Sunday when you guys are watching this, but it is my Friday um, that I filmed my what I ate in a day. Um, my husband's day off. So guess what? We went to Julian, California. If you guys have never been there, it's like people go there for apple pie, but we didn't get apple pie. We went to this pizza place that we really, really like and I had a pizza. But the amazing thing about my tool, you guys, the VSG tool where they cut your stomach, um, I got, I ate one chicken wing, which I did not post in the video, but I ate a barbecue chicken wing and I ate the crust and a little bit of the pizza and that was it. And it's crazy because there's some days I've had pizza. Remember, I'm 13 months post-op, so it's a lot different. Um, but I've had pizza where I've been able to eat a full slice of pizza. Um, today my stomach wasn't having it. I wasn't having it. And guess what? I listened to my stomach because if not, then I can end up getting sick. Like I've mentioned before, I have not experienced dumping syndrome. Doesn't mean that I will never experience it. So I'm very, very careful. And it's crazy how your stomach just tells you to stop and you just have to listen. If you take one more bite, that can be you getting sick and i think that's why i've never experienced it is because i never let myself get to that point um i don't recommend you eating pizza i don't recommend you guys doing any of that stuff but i just wanted to be real i honestly and i'm going to be completely honest with you guys i thought uh i'm filming what i eat in a day and we're gonna go eat pizza but i was like you know what this gives me the opportunity to be really real and show you guys what it is that i eat sometimes um i'm 13 months post-op it's a lot different than when i was six months nine months right three months post-op um i remember my pre-op classes they would tell me they told me you will never eat pizza again you will never eat all these things again and it was a scary thing um and i'm able to but again i've talked to people that something very simple has caused dumping syndrome so again this is my what i eat in a day please respect that i just wanted to be real with you guys 
But anyways, with that long super outro, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any concerns you guys might have or questions you guys might have or whatever. Whatever it is that you guys want to chat about. Um, if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe and please share this video with someone that you feel would benefit from it. As always, you guys have a beautiful Sunday and I will see you guys on my podcast on Wednesday. Bye.